We're here with Melanie Riebeck. Um, she used to be an assistant professor at the Free University in Amsterdam. Uh, she worked on several CERT teams uh, among the ING Bank. Um, and now she set up a new initiative. It's called Radically Open Security. What is Radically Open Security? So, Radically Open Security is, as far as I know, the world's first not-for-profit computer security consulting company. A not-for-profit computer? Yes. That sounds quite special. Yes. Uh, they're that? words you don't usually hear together. But here's the, here's the idea. Basically, uh, it is a uh, commercial front end, so a normal uh, computer security consulting company, mm -hmm. that then supports a back end not-for-profit foundation. Okay. And 90% of our uh, profits, after, of course, we pay our staff, go to uh, the NLNet Foundation. Okay, so there's actually two organizations together. Yeah, we're, this is a joint initiative with uh, Stichting and LNET. Okay, uh, you only started a couple of months ago, I noticed. We started this approximately uh, a month and a half ago, actually, so this is incredibly recent. Okay, a month and a half ago. <laughs> yeah. So how many people are already working with you? So we've already got a core team of about nine people. Nine people? Yeah. Can you give us some names? Yeah, absolutely. So we've got uh, on our team uh, Peter Geisler. Uh, he's, uh, w well, one of the founders of a Capture the Flag, a hacking team mm. uh, called the Einbasen, which is actually the uh, number three CTF team in the world in 2012 and 2013. Uh, we've got also uh, one uh, core developer of Wireshark, uh, Saka Block, who's on our team. We've got uh, actually now three uh, core developers of the Cuckoo Malware Analysis Sandbox on our team. Okay. We've got also on our advisory board, Andrew Tannenbaum. Uh, so we're actually I mean, building an incredibly awesome kick okay. team. So you already got assignments? We do, actually. We have uh, our first uh, customer already. And uh, actually, a second uh, work request just came in yesterday. So it's, okay. it, considering we've only existed for a month and a half, this okay. is going incredibly quickly. OK, so the idea is to, to set a huge amount of the profits into something Socially like research, responsible. Socially responsible. Well, that, that's it, right? Because, I mean, there's a lot of computer security, computer security consulting companies out there, but there's also a lot of, I would say, discontented ethical hackers at the moment who okay. think that there's too much focus on, on profit motive and who feel that there's not enough sharing and there's not, not enough going back into the community. Mm. Really, what we aim to do with this initiative is sort of build and prototype what an ide ideal you know, <laughs> company can be in, in giving back to the community. And in such a way, we have uh, some core principles that mm -hmm. we uh, started up, including basically what we call uh, teach to fish. So when we go in, for example, for an engagement, we provide a step-by-step -step manual explaining exactly how we do things instead mm. of just providing a report at the end and being secretive about it. But if it. you do that, they don't come back to you because they can do it themselves. You're losing it's, customers by that. <laughs> no, it's true. We hope that they'll be able to do what we're doing themselves afterwards. But at the end of the day, you know, if you have to uh, choose between uh, you know, a company that uh, comes in and then mm. teaches you <laughs> and lets you peek over their shoulder versus one that comes in and drops black boxes and are completely opaque about what they're doing, seriously, yeah. which one would you choose? You just said you, you, you give things back to the community. Right. You mean the cybersecurity community. But, but what kinds of things do you give back? Open so, source software? Yeah, so or? I think the most important thing is the reason why, yeah, it's really easy for any company to say, we're different. Mm. We're not about the money. But then you're like, yeah, yeah, whatever. <laughs> but we really wanted to prove it by putting our money where our mouth is. And by giving 90% of our profits to Stichting and Elnet, the idea is we're going to fund open source, uh, both our own uh, hobby projects, but also other really awesome projects. I mean, NLNet in general funds Tor, they fund EFF, they fund uh, and Jitsi, and, and all kinds of, you know, DNSSEC, all kinds of really awesome initiatives that just help make the internet better. Yes. And basically, we want to help contribute to NLNet because we believe in what they stand for, and we believe in continuing to help them support, you know, the projects that they have supported for the last 25 years. You know, and we would rather, as an organization, as a company, make and Elnet really, really rich, instead yes. of just making you know shareholders or investors or even the co-founders rich. Yes. Okay. Uh, we're here at uh, NCSC One conference. Mm -hmm. uh, what are you hoping to learn the uh, coming two days? We're just in the beginning now, so why yeah. are you here? Well, I mean, there's a lot of really great talks on the program, and uh, I mean, so far I was just listening to the uh, the opening talks, of course, uh, with the minister and uh, <laughs> several officials from the NCSC. Mostly, it's just good though to be here and to talk to people and to uh, <laughs> mm. have information exchanges with people. 
And uh, I mean, throughout the course of the week, there's a really strong, awesome technical program. But of course, the, I think the hallway track here is just as strong. So. Okay. Um, this is your moment of fame at the conference to broadcast on YouTube to the wider audience outside the conference. You have uh, any last words to say to them? Yeah, uh, for whoever is interested in uh, learning more information about Radically Open Security, you can go to radicallyopensecurity.com, that's boring, or you can go to uh, https colon slash slash radical dot sexy. Okay, thank you very much. Melanie Riebeck. Thank you.